This is the failiest of the failure ones. This is a very important one that I, I wrote a little while ago. Um, I'm gonna tell the whole story. So anyone who knows me knows that the last few weeks I've been a little bit weird. I've not been all of myself. <laughs> um, I wrote this song a few months ago. Um, I found out I have super, super low egg numbers. So I wrote this song called Ada, which was my great grandmother's middle name, which was what I always thought that I would call my daughter if I had a daughter. And then I wrote this song about the daughter that I might never have. Um, and then last week, I accidentally, somehow, magically, ended up pregnant. No, it's not. Because then, two days ago, I ended up not pregnant again. Um, and it, it happened while I was at the Australian Women in Music Awards, so I was surrounded by all these amazing women. Um, so I, you know, I was very well looked after, but they, um, they said to me, like, this happened to my sister and it happened to someone else and it's, it's actually really common and nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about the infertility stuff, nobody talks about that stuff either. And they're like, someone needs to talk about these things. And I was like, I'm a feely songwriter. I can talk about these things. Um, and I already had this song called Ada and now it's, it's taken on a bit of a different meaning. So I'm going to play it um, just in case there's anyone else out there that's you know, longing for something that they Give might Give it up for that story. Come on. <laughs> also, I didn't want to tell everyone one by one, so this is my way of just getting it done. <laughs> hey, I'm on the floor. i 